holidays. They're meant to be fun, but of course they can be stressful as well. And if you're looking for ways to perhaps cope with that stress, we have some advice. Seven Four's Holly Baker joins us in studio with some tips. Holly, earlier you're doing some stretches. What do you have in store this time around? Well, Brody, we've got more stretching and more relaxation techniques in store. The holidays should mean comfort and joy for a lot of people, but it turns out stress and tension might be what you have a lot more of, either stress in holiday planning or anything like that. So who better than a massage therapist to come and tell us about tips to keep yourself calm during this time? So what have you got for me? Well, there's a, a wide variety of things you can do. and. Uh, you know, really uh, a lot of it comes down to, to self-care, being aware of your body, being aware of, of the changes and, and uh, you know, a lot of things you can do um, are just simple, you know, drink more water, right. eat properly, proper, uh, you know, routine throughout the day, good sleep cycle. Uh, those things really contribute to, to overall wellness and, and, and a sense of well-being and uh, can reduce the stress levels. Okay, and are there different types of, uh, like you are massage therapy, Right. are there different types of massage or is it all just kind of basically the same? It's, there's so many different varieties. I mean, there's, you know, it's been the, massage has been around for a long time. I mean, thousands of years really, and it comes back, you know, from, uh, from uh, old cultures. So throughout the centuries, really, there's been a lot of different techniques that have developed and and as it's come into uh, you know into the West, um, we've really adopted a lot of different things. Um, what we offer a living light, for example, um, are several different types. There's uh, Swedish massage. We do deep tissue, uh, sports massage for people who are you know really more active. Right. Um, uh, it's like you know snowboarding, for example, skiing would be great for people like that. Or you feel real sore the next few days after you go snowboarding. Exactly. Get a massage, right? Exactly. Um, you know, we offer uh, ashiyasu, which is a pretty cool one, where people actually the therapist actually gets up and walks on your back. They use wow. their feet to, oh, like to massage. Oh, like in movies, they actually exactly. do they that. They really do that. Wow. Yeah, there's bars in the ceiling, and they hold on to them. Okay. And, yeah. So that that's a pretty uh, pretty intense type of massage, but. The most uh, typical type would be probably Swedish or deep tissue, and that can really uh, fit really all different you. types. Yeah. Okay. Is there, so, what's like maybe one other quick tip that you can give people that they can do at home when maybe they're feeling a little stressed or they really have those knots in their back or anything like that? Give me a massage. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, of course. <laughs> well, uh, you know, stretching is one of the things you can really do for yourself. Stretching. And uh, you know, we showed a stretch earlier. There's another one that you could do. It's really simple, okay. and you can do it while you're sitting down, you know, at your desk or whatever, or maybe standing up. Um, it's, it's a good stretch for the side of the body. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna raise your arm up along your head. Raise my arm up. And then you're gonna reach up I and grab your wrist with the other hand, kind of turn upside down, so the thumbs okay. facing down. And then you want to just take a nice deep breath, and then exhale. You're gonna lean across, and you're gonna feel it stretch down the side of the ribs and through the bottom of the arm. Is this good? That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> if you feel the stretch. And then you want to kind of move side? back and do the other side exactly so you kind of have a balance okay. on both sides. I'm stretching out. <laughs> this is good. Excellent. I'm going to be nice and flexible for the rest of the day. There you go. No more stress. No more stress. Right. Well, thanks a lot for showing Absolutely. us your tips and giving us a little bit of an insight as to the what really goes on during massage. So I want to say thank you so much, Chris, from Living Light Massage and Wellness Center. Uh, you can go see him if you're feeling the stress this holiday season.